वेलकम टू मुबीन आई टी कंसल्टेंट टूडे आई ब्रिंग यू न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द सिक्योरिटी हाउ कैन टू सिक्योर योर नेटवर्क वे यू आर इन ऑफिस एंड in university or college and uh, anywhere if you see that uh and if you want to more strong your network then you have to use this way then can be secure your network more better here i already installed a packet tracer and here i created a one scenario you can see that here is dsl for the internet communications and here is a switch here is a four computer connected with the, this switch and i want to show you what inside the switch here is enter enable and show run just here you can see that there is nothing anything i created just i have access the vlan uh, just i have set the vlan settings if you want to see the vlan setting you can to see my previous uh, my last video uh, you can see my last video about the vlans and you can see that how can you create the vlans here is a vlans you can see that here are five ports 1 2 3 Four, five. There, these five ports are in uh, VLAN ten. And uh, now I have to create the security for the. Create. You can see that it is already one uh, security function is active now. And uh, I will start. How can to secure your network? Just see that. First of all, you have to see that uh, these are ports. There is nothing anymore. Okay. Uh, uh, just we have to go configuration mode. Configurations. Yes, this is configuration mode. And here I have to enter. Look, that here is a network. Before already, I want to use uh, only this computer, this laptop. Look, that there is a port number three. The port number. Three. I want to use this port to secure in the network. Okay. If uh, this port will be in a secure network, if anyone, if anyone, if uh, anyone use this port, another computer, then the computer will never work on this network because the this port only for the this computer. And this is specified for these computers because I want to put the this uh, computer Mac to into uh, in uh, a switch. Then the uh, switch will consider only that Mac because if you connect this port to another computer, then the computer will never work on the network. Let's see how is possible. Let's check it. First of all, you can see that I have already configured the IPs. You can see this ten. Two ten dot zero dot zero two and three and four. Just you can once time you can check that uh, these IP are working or not. Like that is already. We show configurations. Uh, first I want to check the computer number three. Here is a computer number. You can see that this is computer number. Sorry, this is a computer number. Three okay. Yes, I use I uh, use this laptop. Okay, sorry, you don't make computer. I like use a laptop. Uh, laptop zero uh, one. Okay, just how can to this IP address is mm, is IP address. I want to ping IP address ten dot zero dot zero dot two. This is IP for the these computers. You can see that. IP for this laptop. If you want to see the IP address, you can see that here is IP mm, interface. Here is IP two. 
you can see this laptop for the two and here I check from this computer to this computer this computer is working on the connections and every computer can ping to this computer nothing problem just check one screen desktop command run uh, ping 10.0.0.2 here you can see that computer is working condition let's start to secure the network this uh, i mean uh, i want to uh, why i uh, use uh, this uh, why i uh, design this network because sometimes we see the different scenarios in the different environment in, you can to use in, in the different environment if you are in office if you are in in uh, in college or university networks so then you can use it this way this is very better way to secure your network because in sometimes if you somebody you use your, your computers as your networks but uh, thus uh, if the switch is configured for this a computer then other computer can ever connect to this switch let's start here uh, I want to show you once again here is almost this laptop okay let's start here this this okay I'm going to go interface sorry Fast port number uh, so was zero slash three. Okay, you can see that zero slash three is this zero slash three. Okay, you understand? And here once again, this three. And how can to use? Just first of all, we have to set the we have to call to switch port okay switch port next is if you want to see uh, information regarding the port formations if you, which kind of the uh, command that can use in this interface look that these all commands can use in this interface okay but i have to use this command okay just first we have to port and then enter here's i enter setting again port and then call to maximum maximum means how many computers you want to uh, set for this port i means you can to set three four five computers you can to set that all uh, computer a mac address to feed in this place then can that all computers can use uh, for that uh, through this port but otherwise another uh, computers do who uh, they uh, i mean that's not uh, uh mac address in, in available in this uh, in this platform then you can never connect then never use also okay here's the maximum one i use also only one computer it's a maximum one switch port MAC address. Here I have to feed the MAC address. How can you see the MAC address? Look at here is the laptop and here is the interface. Here is MAC address. Just I have to copy Control C and here, uh, sorry, in switch side we have to switch side. Here is paste. Just enter. No, your this port is now active for the security port. Okay, you can see how can just a short command which run. Here you can see that port number three. This port, no, sorry, it is uh, that's here port, here ports. You can see this port. Okay, or in my two ports, I uh, I wrote before, I used before. As this port is this one, you can see that this is port is configured, and you can see that here I ping from this computer to another computer uh, to this computer. I means computer number uh, laptop ping 10.0.0.2. Here it is connected. You can see that and next is just I only look at this I only. Cut this port 
and connect to this computer. Here is port number. This port number 3 already. You can see that. Here. Is IP number is 5. You can see this. IP number 5. Here I will call to IP number 5. I will call to IP number 5. But the port will consider that computer because the this per port this port number three only specify the this computer not for another computers if, if i use this computer or this or this computer that all computers can never use that port because this port the port number three only for the laptop so just check again here just here i use this computer and I want to ping that here is ping ping sections and uh, I want to see the ports setting look that here is the port is active conditions but just here is ping 10.0.0.5 this is IP number 5 computers okay you can see that for 5 I enter look that as I enter that port is shut down that port is shut down because because this computer I mean this port not can use another computer for other computers how can to reactive this port just you can see that here is again again this port is shut down if you are use again put again to uh, again to same computer but computer uh, this port will never active because we have to properly active through the switch then can this port can be active let's see how to active now here is the switch just this low here Yes, conditions we are in port number three already i want to show you just here you can see that first of all we have to oh sorry first of all we have to share this port then again possible okay first of all we have to share this port shared the port is shared condition okay we have to reactive just no shared then your port is active now and you can to use this port for only these computers this uh, actually this scenario mostly we see that some hackers or some other person use your networks through this that port then uh, it's better to use i in coming video i will show you how to secure your home network because sometimes we use the home network for through the wi-fi and i will tell you how to secure your wi-fi because um, some hackers use your username and password and can use your internet access and then i will tell you how can to secure your network and unauthorized person can never access your network even they have a you put your password or anything put but i will tell you how to secure your wi-fi in the network at home to have wi-fi how put to use thank you very much once again please share my videos and like my videos and subscribe thank you very much